Up for his second year in a row, Mark Britton, AVO CEO and ponderer of Legal's future. LegalZoom is eating Legal's lunch. So uh, we've talked a little bit about the do-it-yourself movement, but really when we're talking about legal, it's the do-it-without-a-lawyer movement, right? Where everybody's taking forms that has a little bit of legal in it, and they're trying to do it on their own or do it with a paralegal, really do it with anyone that's not a lawyer in order to avoid some of the complexities and the expense that goes with lawyers. And LegalZoom, they're, they're the vanguard. They're driving this. $156 million in revenue last year. 163, that's where they would be on the ABA, uh, the AMLA 200, driving 490,000 transactions. So in the major metro art markets, they would have, they'd be taking about five clients for every lawyer. So putting it very simply, LegalZoom is eating Legal's lunch. But they're eating the small stuff. They're eating the entry-level market of trusts and wills and incorporations those places where people first decide that they want to interact with the legal profession. This is an important place for us. And when we find as lawyers, you know, when we say this is important, whether it's for our clients or for us, we put on the boxing gloves, right? And we say, we're going to protect this. Entry level market where people start using lawyers and legal services, uh uh-oh, we look like this. We have the boxing gloves on, but it also looks like we've been drinking wine coolers at the beach and we're rocked back and we don't really know what to do. We're completely perplexed. Or maybe instead of looking like this on the beach, we decide that we want to look like this on the beach, where we just stick our head in the sand and we go, oh, you know, this whole package services, forms business, the internet thing, if I just do great work, well, I'll stay in business. 490,000 transactions, okay? That's big, and it's only getting bigger. And this is why. This is how consumers perceive the legal industry. Oh, my God, lawyers, they're expensive, and they're time-consuming, and they're confusing. And if I use them, if I spend all that money, the chance of me really uh, succeeding, having a positive return on my investment, is low. This is what people say. And LegalZoom comes in and says, oh, Let me give you a big hug, right? It doesn't have to be expensive or time consuming or confusing. And your success, your chance of success doesn't have to be low. Let me give you that big legal Zoom hug, okay? But the magic of the legal Zoom hug is this. They are phenomenal communicators. And they're putting a box around these entry level services where they're saying, hey, it's cheap. It's easy, it's fast, and you can be successful when you interact with the legal profession. It is simply fantastic communication. And here it is. It's cheap at 169, it's easy, it's fast. And look, you have Chris Schutte, LegalZoom customer, the hot dog easy bun steamer. That's success right there. And people are buying this up as fast as they can. Is anyone buying at this rate from other lawyers, other law firms, et cetera? No, but they don't have any pixie dust. They're not doing anything except just core, age-old block and tackle marketing, where they take a very simple offering, and they put a box around that simple offering that people can understand, and then they upsell it. Because here's the reality. You can't... You can't sell legal services to a customer that's not your client, right? And so LegalZoom's really bright where they say, let's make it simple, get them in the door with the simple offering, and then we can upsell them to other services. Now, lawyers go, oh, man, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still perplexed. Okay, let's talk about McDonald's. We already talked about McDonald's a bit. This is their simple offering. You know exactly what this tastes like and what it costs. It costs a buck. And in fact, as was mentioned before, when you go to buy that hamburger, they say, do you want fries with that? Or do you want a soda with that? Or do you want a Happy Meal with that? Right? This is their upsell. That hamburger is the simple offering. And they make all of their margin in the upsell, and they go at cost neutral, if not loss leader, on the hamburger. So for the legal profession, okay, what are some of the simple offerings? Because people will still be perplexed. No. Prenuptial agreements, green cars, wills, trust, DUI, LLC. Lawyers know what, how long this takes and how much it costs. And for the entry-level consumer, put a box around it 
and advertise it. As part of that offering, it doesn't necessarily have to be cheap and it doesn't have to be easy. It just has to be transparent and the lawyer needs to communicate. You need to communicate how much, how long it's going to take, how hard it's going to be, and the likelihood of success. Put it in a box for them. Kavanaugh Law. I just did a quick Google search. Immigration out of Los Angeles, beautifully on the web right here. You want a green card for your spouse, it's $12.50, here's what it's going to take, how long it's going to take, other things that it's going to involve, and ultimately they're selling that you will have a high likelihood of success. That's the box. Our marketplace product, this is a relatively new product for us, but we're helping lawyers put it in a box. Here's the price range, here's what it'll take, here's how long it'll take, here's your probability of success. Get it in the box, so that you can get them to actually not be afraid of you and use your services. And then you can move to the upsell. Okay, so we talked about the prenuptial agreement. Well, if you're worried about your assets, maybe you need a trust. Green card for your spouse? Well, maybe he or she needs citizenship. You need a will? I'll give you a trust. You need a trust? I'll give you a will. D people who've come in for a DUI, I guarantee they're going to have traffic ticket problems in the future. All right? A lot of lawyers will say this is commoditization. It is not commoditization. It is communication with the simple offering, which gets them in as clients so that you can upsell and make more money so that you can communicate more and have the whole circle go through again. It's not commoditization. It is 21st century legal. Thank you. Thank you.